I'll share with you a few tips on how to read the scale on an analog multimeter. And this one's by Gardner Bender. You can pick up at almost any hardware store. Excellent to have around the house if you're doing electrical projects. And I have the scale here on the whiteboard. And these numbers, you're going to use the same numbers whether you're testing for DC or AC. For example, if you're testing a water heater that's 240 volts, you would set your dial to 300 alternating current, and you're testing for 240. If you're testing for a regular outlet, which is 120, you would set your meter to 150 and test for the 120. If you're testing for a 12 volt battery, you would change it to 50 DC and it'll test for 12 volts. If you're testing a regular battery like a 9 volt or a C, a double A, which is 1.5 volts, you would change it to 10 DC. So for example, we've got a couple batteries here. I'm going to change the meter to 10 direct current. And for this first battery, which is a 9 volt, I'll test it. And you can see it goes a little bit over 9, so that one's fully charged. I'll test this double A, and it's 1.5, so we know these are both working. And then we can also test an outlet to see if there's current. And I'm going to change this to 150 AC, and I'll plug this in, and it should show 120 volts and you can see we have electric on that current so just an excellent tool to have easy to use and then if you have fuses or switches for example if we wanted to test an electrical element for a water heater to see whether it's working or not I would change the setting to continuity and then I would test the element and you can see that there is continuity so that we know this element is working and we would use that same test for a fuse. So just an excellent tool to have around the house if you're doing electrical projects.